Hey, it's Nathan Crane. Today I want to share with you a couple things you can do to enhance your immune system. We now know that the immune system, about 70% of it, is actually in your gut. And your lymphatic system is an important part of your immune system and, and also is a big part of your gut. When I say your gut, I'm actually talking about your entire gastrointestinal system. So from your mouth, through your stomach, through your intestines, your colon, uh, all the way until it leaves your anus. The, that's your gastrointestinal system and as part of your immune system, you have a lot of other organs we don't need to get into, including bone marrow and spleen and tonsils and so forth that have an impact on your immune system. But today I just wanna focus on the gut, the importance of having a healthy gut. You know, our bodies are actually made of more bacteria than they are human cells. We have more bacteria cells than we do human cells. And before you get weirded out and grossed out and be like, what the heck, that sounds crazy. Uh, it is a little crazy and at the same time, it's very fascinating, very interesting that we actually have trillions of bacteria inside of us every single day doing all kinds of functions and some of those functions keep us alive, help us stay healthy, help us live longer, help our immune systems function help to communicate with immune response cells like T cells and B cells. These are cells that create natural antibodies to fight off viruses and bacteria. There are also cells like T cells, for example, called killer T cells that can help to uh, get rid of cancer cells from your body. So, you know, our bacteria in our gut help to do so many different functions in the body. And so we want to keep our gut healthy. We want to keep our gastrointestinal system healthy. And so how do we do that? Well, one, you've got to stop eating processed foods. You've got to stop eating greasy foods. You've got to stop eating things that are clogging up your intestines and your colon, sticky foods, um, animal products, and so forth. And two, we've got to put good probiotics in our body. Uh, things, probiotics that come from like kefir, fermented foods, kimchi, you can also get probiotics, um, uh, capsule probiotics, you can get uh, all different kinds of probiotics, chewables and so forth. I recommend getting them from different sources, especially food sources, but then supplementing with other kinds of capsules and so forth. And, uh, and the third thing is prebiotics. Prebiotics are foods that actually nurture the growth of the probiotics, of the good bacteria in our stomach. And those are foods typically rich in inulin fiber. So you're talking about banana and chicory root, onions, garlic, Jerusalem artichoke, apples, oats, barley. There's a lot of them. But think plant-based foods rich in fiber and eating uh, multiple servings a day, fruit and vegetables. And when you're getting that fiber, you are creating a natural source of food so the good bacteria in your gut can flourish. The fiber also goes in and helps clean out the intestinal walls, helps the flora be able to do their job better, helps your body be able to assimilate nutrients better, helps your uh, entire immune system be stronger. And with all the scare of the viruses and diseases going on around the world, we really want to have a strong immune system. There's a lot of different things you can do to strengthen your immune system and I'll be covering that in more videos on, on this channel. But for now, I just want you to think, 70% of your immune system is in your stomach. You've gotta have a healthy stomach, healthy intestines, healthy colon, if you wanna have a strong immune system. A strong immune system helps you fight bacteria, viruses, uh, chronic diseases like cancer. With a strong immune system, you can feel more confident and have more uh, ability to enjoy the things in life you want to enjoy. The other thing to think about is that we're constantly bombarded and infected by bacteria and viruses just about every single day of our life. But most people are not sick every single day of their life unless they have some sort of you know, autoimmune condition. So the fact that uh, there's bacteria and viruses constantly in your body, but you're not getting sick from it, that's a good sign that your immune system is functioning at some level, right? If you didn't have a functioning immune system, you'd probably be dead. So we need these bacteria, we need this immune system to keep us strong and healthy. We also don't necessarily have to be afraid of every little bacteria and virus that's constantly around us. And we also know that fear uh, actually decreases the function of your immune system, but that's a whole other video. 
For now, again, recognizing one, we're constantly exposed to bacteria and viruses, and yet we don't experience the symptoms very often. It means our immune system's working. Two, we want a strong functioning immune system, so we gotta do the things that enhance it and make it stronger and better. Uh, three, so when we do get viruses or bacteria or pathogens, that our body can uh, produce the antibodies it needs, can produce the cells it needs, can remove that waste um, as quickly as possible and to help us not experience those symptoms or a very shortened or reduced uh, experience of those symptoms. And finally, again, probiotics daily from fermented food sources, capsules, etc., and prebiotics daily. Um, I'll, I'll post a bunch of known prebiotics in the description uh, below this video. But think whole foods, plant foods, fresh foods, foods rich in fiber, eating at least five servings a day, and you're gonna help to enhance and improve your immune system. And you know the bonus with a strong immune system, not only do you feel better and you get sick less often, but the people around you are gonna be better as well because your body helps to eliminate those pathogens and bacteria and viruses faster. So take care of that stomach. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like, share, post, follow, comment, do all that stuff. Love to help share this information with you. I've been on this health and healing journey since 2005. I'm always learning, always experimenting, always researching and dedicated to help you and millions other experience a healthier, happier, more fulfilling life. So thanks for tuning in and until next time, stay healthy.